Uh, I see you. You're back here, I think. Wait. I, I'm, I'm playing the Benny Hill music as we go down this hallway. There's a door. Hold on a second. Let me find Drea. We might be intentionally leaving Drea in the room behind us. Uh, I thought I just saw... Yeah, there you are. You're over here. You're in the... You, you can't see. I cannot... Okay. There you like go. I could not see myself. There we go. I was like, I moved you. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I was about to say, you should be able to see, right? You have dark uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the problem is sometimes if I end up on Sahira moving... Oh, Sahira can't see. Yeah, yeah. I lose Hekka. Fair enough. So I'm going to go into stealth now, Chesty. Well, if you want, we can just say that... Uh, isn't it a he? He's in your pocket. Okay, that works. And, and then when if you pull it out, like I can move him for wherever he is. Okay, Cause, that works. Because you know I can move stuff like universally. All right, sorry guys. So, how did witch, you roll a two? It almost rolled as good as I did. The witch being rescued from oblivion. Uh, what are you guys checking this door? Or okay, stealth check. Are you checking this door, Thorak? Yeah, I was just checking to see if I, I noticed anything amiss at, behind this door. Um, you you examine the doorway for you know any signs of recent use, and uh, there there don't seem to be any. This door seems undisturbed. No, I vote we disturb it. Yes, let's. All right. So you take an action to open the door. And as you peer into this room, uh, nothing strikes you yet. You have to step in and take a look to really... I see, I see cobwebs. Oh. All right, so... The Rock steps into this room. And he notices four monuments looming in the dark. It's somber, almost still, eerie, even though every room in this crypt has been eerie, this one somehow achieves uh, more eeriness. Uh, there are prominent carvings of black-winged angels with sizable pentagrams you can see in this room. Burnished plaques along the floor next to each sepulcher bear names of those interred within and then atop the northern wall you see the words sepulcher of the nail carved in prominent relief can they do like an occultism check just to to see what the heck this place is used for Mm, or, sure. Or, or a kind of check. I don't know what check that would be. I would. Yeah. Uh. I mean, it would be probably society. Society. Um, okay. I got yeah. that. That's fine. There you go. To see if you recognize, you know, what what type of room this is. So, Neji looks around and he remarks to the party that he he recognizes this as a burial place, a tomb. So far, none of the rooms you've entered in the vaults have been, uh, you know, a crypt, even though it is the crypt. But this part is a resting place for fallen, presumably Hell Knights, Order of the Nail Knights, who have been here for uh, hundreds of years. I kind of want to open one of these and see if uh, there's a shield inside well, Drez takes a look around. What are you looking for? Traps? Yeah, let's detect traps here. Maybe so, oh, sorry. You, Go ahead. you do a quick scan of the room, and no, nothing jumps out at you. Nothing seems amiss. It seems that this room has been undisturbed for quite some time. Can I do a seek action, Mary? Sure. So, so you would uh, roll... Perception? Well, and I'm supposed to, but I've been letting you guys roll okay. all oh, this. I've been letting you guys roll the the secret checks because I just reveal it to you. I mean, I haven't really been. I I, I think if it makes sense to, for you to roll it just to keep it a surprise, then 
do it like us. Okay. So are you are you doing a a thirty foot cone or a? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do a thirty foot cone. Okay. That would be. Can you see when I'm hovering, or do I have to place it? Um, I can't see where you're hovering. Uh, I guess pointing downwards. All right. In front of see. me, where I'm look, where me and Thorak are looking. Pointing south. Okay. I don't know how to make it turn, but that would be... It would be... Like to that door, and then around to where Chesty's got his marker right here. And then around to basically into this wall right here. To the back of the, the room that you're in. Um, so, I'll roll it for you. Oop. So, Neji concentrates his gnome vision, squints, perks his ears up, tries to hear. Uh, um, if, you, if you said anything, I missed it. I was just saying, you, you squinted real hard and you perked your gnome ears up. Um, but you, you don't succeed in finding any creatures. Um, so, just to point out, there are plaques on these that have their names. You could read them. Okay. I can't read. Somebody else is going to have to. Why can't you read? Are you illiterate? I only have 12 intelligence. I mean, you're not illiterate, though. You're just stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm belligerent. Is 10 not average? Yeah, ten is like everybody's ten. Average yeah. for where though? For your race. If that's, if that's average <laughs> US, that's probably I can't read what's on these I, I, I have ten wow. intelligence on my bar. I, f um, I feel attacked. <laughs> okay, so Mary, I'll read the plaque on this coffin thing here. Nearest to you? Alright, yeah. so you reach down and you dust off the plaque and you notice that it reads here lies Paralictor Lorene Sunel. Okay. You're just going to read it? You're not going to open it? Oh, I, I don't think we should be opening tombs, but if you guys want to. <laughs> yeah, I'll open it. Okay, you, you, you open it. I'll, I'll stand behind you. <laughs> Alright, so Thorak moves over to the crypt, and he heaves its shoulder into the side of the stone lid and reveals the desiccated corpse of Paralictor Lorene Sinel. Ooh. Got some rings on him. Her. They? They, them? Her plaque does not indicate preferred pronoun. <laughs> Uh, it's a body though, so we can go they. Yes, so on this body, as the loot goblin already has noticed, she is carrying doubling rings. This item consists of two magically linked rings, an intricate gleaming golden ring with a square cut ruby, and a thick plain iron ring. When you wield a melee weapon in the hand wearing the golden ring, this weapon's fundamental runes are replicated onto any melee weapon you wield in the hand wearing the iron ring. And so the fundamental runes are potency and striking, which I believe would make whatever weapon you're holding like a plus plus one to whatever it is so if it's nice. a plus one it'd be a plus two and if it's a regular it'd be plus one and then i believe the striking rune without looking it up just makes the damage be of the striking variety i mean so, we hope we've, we've only got one dual wielder here right so i think let's just go to chesty yes yeah that's what oh, i was not, thinking yeah i'm okay it, with that well so FYI, it doesn't apply to throne attacks. 
I can do other things. Yeah, he does plenty of stabbing. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, can you? Are you able to loot from it? Let's see. Should be able to. Yeah, I've like got it pulled up. Okay. See, who said defiling a grave is a bad thing? It's okay. called archaeology if it's old enough. Exactly. All yeah. right. Let's move on to the next one. I'm, st I'm sticking with you closely. They might pop out of nowhere here. So I've got a button here that says toggle investing your equipment. Is that what activates it? Uh, I, Sure. Let's try it. See if it does anything. Otherwise, I'll just... It says it's worn, and now I have investing my equipment turned on. Nice. So I think... I can come here. You're holding your dagger, right? Uh, yes, I've got daggers out. So I'm pretty sure I can come here and do this. Uh, potency rune, striking rune. Yeah, holy shit! You're gonna hit. So yeah, they are there, so it should calculate anything. I added it to it now. Just let me know if you take them off. Don't cheat. Wink, wink. <laughs> hey, Jesse, you should I'll put know. some uh, some of the weapons you're not using in your backpack. You're encumbered right now. <clears throat> you guys are really trusting to just take something <laughs> off a corpse and put it right on you. <laughs> um, <should laughs> never heard of a never heard of a curse before. <laughs> Too late now. I'm just kidding. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Let's open the second one. Do it. Who needs to read it? It's or open. do I? All right. <laughs> All right. I read the inscription on the second one. The second uh, coffin. All right. So. And while he's you, reading, I open it. You reach down again, and you see the name Paravicar uh, Yanesta. Monkey pen. Yes, on this body, you notice it carries a monkey pen, a small brass pen in the shape of a monkey climbing a tree. When you activate the talisman, you use a climb action. If you succeed, you move your full speed during the climb, which I believe is because usually when you climb, it's half speed, if I'm not mistaken. It's like rough terrain or whatever. Oh, um, My I'm never climbing anything place. again, so I will pass on that item. I'm plus 12 in athletics. Anybody else? Yeah, probably I mean, everybody it's... but Hekka would I'm like. A, yeah, I'm six yeah. on athletics. I was going to say, everybody but Hekka wouldn't really need it. Well, I mean, it doesn't help you climb. You still have to pass the check, right? That's true, yeah. You just move at full speed. So it makes your climb, like, faster, I guess. I'll say we leave it. Hey, if no one wants it, I'll take it. We're not it's worth it. But it's worth six gold. And it has, it. And it has a... It. It's free gold. And it has no a monkey it. on it. Okay, know? I took it. Have you never heard of the monkey's paw? <clears throat> I don't care. I saw shiny loot. <laughs> Monkey. All right, next one. Let's open the third one. All right, hold on one second. Also, I see a line of what looks like columns down this other hallway behind me. Are those like graves on the ground, Mary? Okay. Uh, they well, you could step over there and look. You'd have to cross, like, this threshold to get into, like, that next room. But, uh, as you reach down and wipe the dust from this plaque, you see the name Renton Vaselli, Master of Blades. Ooh. Ooh. Did you open it already, Tharok? Oh, oh, yeah. Why not? All right, so Tharok shoves the lid aside once more, and you discover that this corpse is carrying... A feather step stone. A stone usually stepped uh, shaped as a what is that? A kabachon? I don't know what that means. Is a 
This is a small chunk of amber with a bit of feather or a flying insect caught within it. When you activate the stone, you ignore the effects of any difficult terrain and greater difficult terrain you move through until the end of your turn. Okay, um... That's cool. You have to be expert in acrobatics to use it. Yes. I cannot use that. I think, I think Chesty it's... could. Chesty yeah. probably can. I cannot use it. Yeah, them. but I've already got feats that reduce my, uh, or eliminate my movement penalty in rough terrain for, like, two of the three types, so... How about what? Oh, I think I'll go ahead and sell it. Oh, you, Luke Goblin. Well, I'm... I'm, I'm... I'm never going to put myself into that situation, but, you know, if no one wants it, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I, I'm dumb, maybe, I'll take it. I'll find Maybe Maybe it. Wes might be able to use it. Well, what am I, what am I supposed to are, are you, uh, are you expert in acrobatics? I think, I, I think so. Let's see. Uh, acrobatics. He's a train, he's trained plus 10. It's like pretty good, right? Yeah. He still can't use it though if he's trained. Huh? Oh, did, did, Wes, did you not level up any of your um, core skills? I think we were able to level up one or two of them or any. I don't think the acrobatics was yeah I, was one of my one of my you know choices. Okay, well, someone take it. <laughs> I'll hang on to it and sell it. It's fine. Right. <laughs> we have any spells that shrink animals? Spells to shrink animals? Probably. I'd have to look into that. You might be out the door, out the hallway, aren't you? It might just be like an illusion or something. There is polymorph. Uh, it's called shrink. Oh, polymorph. Uh, yeah. Shrink. It's shrink. It shrinks them for five minutes. It's a level two spell. Uh, Arcane, Arcane and Primal. Does it work on gnomes? It has to be a willing creature. The target shrinks to, to become tiny in size. Its equipment shrinks with it, but it returns to the original size if removed. The creature's reach changes to zero feet. The spell has no effect on the tiny creature. All right, so do you reach down and read this one? Yeah. So as you wipe the dust away, you see the name Zira Dalphine, Mistress of Blades. The Rock, do you open this one as well? Yeah, though I'm confused because we've been looting from Zira Dalphine the whole time. Is it all say like the same name in your screen? <laughs> They're all different on mine. It might be a racers a of missile deflection glitch in the machine. Oh, hold on, let me pull the cameraman down here. He's up here just chilling. Oh, see, Nipper. this one would actually be useful for me. But Heck is probably more fragile than I am, so Bracer is probably better for him. All right, sorry. Yeah, I had to pull emotionally the or as a character. Uh, yes. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird. They all say the same to you. They should be different. Anyway, so yeah, yes, on my end. this one this one has bracers of missile deflection. Uh, these bracers are made of durable mithril and gleam like the summer sun. So once per day, uh, you a uh, rain. Let's see, what you can get plus two circumstance bonus AC to a ranged attack. Yeah, if it makes it fail, then. If you would cause the attack to be a failure, it misses you. Yeah. So yeah, those would be useful to probably one of you squishier guys. Uh, I'll pass for Hecka. Okay, I'll yeah, take he's, it. He's squishier and he tends to get himself in more um worse situations than I than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so that is true. <laughs> As you take a moment to admire the desiccated corpse tokens, you notice that there are two ways out of this room, kind of an open threshold here that leads into uh, this next room right here, and then a door to the south that leads into a room right there. 
So, I but which way we, we do that, um Before we do that, can we close the coffins? Um. Well, you could, but when you pushed the stone tops off of them, they just kind of fell to the ground, and you know, some of them cracked pieces yeah, off, some of them right. broken half. Yeah. Um. Can we get rid of the bodies then, so they don't come back to life? <laughs> What uh? What would you like to do to these bodies? Break the legs off. Do you guys want to burn them? Just break, break the legs, the legs off. Yeah. off them. I, I think uh, yeah. you can't get away from a crawling skeleton. Okay, so you desiccate these bodies then by burn them. burning them. Who has some fire? It's the torch, right? Okay, I can produce flame as a cantrip. Oh, a cantrip, yeah, it's... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, do that. Okay, so hold on a second. I have some holy water in my hands, too. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me do this to him. Alright, so you start to set these bodies alight, and as you do, they illuminate the chamber with a putrid smell. Oh boy. Uh, Wesley comments that it's making him a little bit sick to his stomach. There we go. Now it's really starting to stink with two of them lit up. A fire in a basement with no ventilation. This is great. <laughs> of of dead like hundred year old bodies. Burning them was not my idea. <laughs> I'm the execution, not the brains here. All right. Um, let's check the rest of this room, I guess. All right. Well, so let's see here. Make sure this was going. Boom, boom. All right, so as you guys step into this room, you notice that along the southern wall, there's a large relief carving of a sunburst made of nails. Instead of typical flagstones, the floor is made up of headstones with names and dates. Curiously, six of the headstones seem to be pried open to reveal empty graves within, and as you notice this, a shuffling emerges from the shadows, and you are engaged immediately and observed by skeleton guards. I start playing battle music as soon as I see them come out. What what battle music are you playing here? Uh, Final Fantasy, of course. <laughs> Alright, so... What you, what you uh, discover to your terror, as I remove the cameraman here, is that even though you are observed and seen by at least two of these fiends... You hear a greater shuffling coming from down the hall. Man. Skeletal Hell Knight. Oh no. no. Oh yes. Roll for initiative. Alright. 
Knurl performance because I was playing my battle music. <laughs> yeah, what was the song again? Final Fantasy. Whatever Final Fantasy the battle theme. Yeah. Nothing like a crit fail to start the night. Let's go. <laughs> The game showing is paused for everybody else. Yeah, I yeah, have, I, I do have it paused. Yeah, I'm sure gonna unpause it. Lines. I just want to make sure nobody like ran in. Hmm. But that doesn't mean you're not having problems. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Man, wow, shit rolls here tonight. Holy fucking shit. Okay. It's all on you, Drez. So, as the battle is joined, Drez, um, you, will t you will take the first action. I, what, what, when, um, one thing we can do, guys, is we can retreat back into the hallway and use that as a choke point. If that makes sense. I mean, if y'all want to retreat back there and I can throw some caltrops down, that's fine, but it's just up to you. What do you guys think? Can you please place them between uh, me and the enemies and not right next to me? Well, that's why I was saying you guys retreat up the hallway, and then I'll put the caltrops down. Could you but, move uh, in, drop them, and then move out, or do you? Well, the thing is, if I move in right now, there's going to be all kinds of empty squares that they can go around them. What we need to do is retreat up the hallway, so there's a choke point where they have to walk over them. It's it's, it's um is what you could do, trusty. You could delay. But keep your... in mind, I also I also have my rings of extreme ass kicking on right now. Well, there's, I don't know, there's a lot of, that's a lot of skeletons, though. You know? well, yeah, but I mean, like, I, maybe I can get into one kick ass and back the fuck off and give you guys time to retreat. So, a so, little bit of, uh, you know, OOC here. The Hell Knight that's going to go right after Drez is right. way in the back. So, he's going to have to make a lot of moves to even get to us. So, there's really only two that we have to worry about this turn. Right, it's two, then us three, or four, then okay. three. So do you guys want to fight, then, in this room? I mean, we I think we can. We, we have the door as a choke point if we need to retreat. Yeah, I mean, as long as nothing's blocking that exit, we can take it if we need it. All right. But it would be a shame to, admit, to waste my uh, uh, flat-footed advantage with these rings on, too, so. Right. So and I am going to... This one right in the front is before most of us. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hang on, I need to see how long that, how far that move was. Alright, so that was only half an action. Well, and you should be... I don't have you guys, and I don't think that mod's actually working anymore because they upgraded to 10, but I don't have, uh, the squares are 5, so if you if you just eyeballing, I think I have you guys more or less on squares. Alright, I'm going to move right there. So yeah, that was another 15 feet. This dude is flat footed to me. And I am striking with my melee weapon here, so that ring stuff should. Uh, yeah, let's should take see what it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I'm sorry. I had everything set to blind roll. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, potency rune plus one. Yeah. Yep. So you definitely hit. Roll with some damage. Oh, and it gave it magical trait to Oh man, piercing and slashing is what he's weak to. So with a expert wielding of the dagger enhanced by his newly discovered rings, Drez crushes the skeleton guard for 15 damage and it falls in a heap of bones to the ground 
Oh, they've only got four health. What was I so scared of? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, with my last action, I'm going to target this dude over here. And I am going to use uh, Demoralize on him. No! It's probably mindless. Your face is mindless. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, in that case, why don't I just throw a knife at him? Wait, hold on. I need to do the attack yeah. penalty on that bad roll. Map it. Well, now it's not letting me click anything. Oh, yeah, what the hell? Oh, I mean, is, like it, is it because are you out of throwing knives? Uh... Maybe, but it hasn't been it hasn't been doing anything. I mean, it still says I've got one. Yeah, that's weird. You got two entries there. One of them you're not holding, though. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is because it hasn't been like counting them down or anything. All right, here we go. I think. I mean, I think it has, dude. I think when you use that, it takes one away from you. Oh man, let's I see. Have, like eight still sitting in my inventory. That's what I bought. really. Uh, well then, that's bullshit. Are you supposed to be able to pick it back up, though? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's just been my assumption at the end of every yeah. round as I pick up my throwing knives right yeah. at the end of every fight. All right, so... Yeah what, yeah, what is the rule about throwing knives? I don't know. We, yeah, we, we never really found out, so I've just been saying I throw them and then I pick them back up. Well, now we're gonna. Uh, <laughs> gen generally speaking, with d d it was a, they were reusable if it wasn't a critical fail. Right. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. A critical like if, fail broke it. Yeah, like it hit the wall. Yeah. So, with no critical fail, Dress flings a throwing knife over at this other skeleton guard, and he drops him to the ground with the same ease. So far, so good. But now his turn ends. And from the back of the hallway. Wow. You hear a eerie screech. Let's see. Let me measure that again. And emerging from the shadows. Ooh. Is a skeletal hell knight. Ooh. So, as he steps forward to the fray, all of a sudden he lets out a demonic sounding chant. The witch Hecka immediately recognizes that this skeletal hell knight is commanding the other skeleton guards that you cannot see and with that his turn is ended and you just hear more awful shuffling emerging from the dark And as another skeleton guard shuffles forward, he takes his aim on the rogue who has so haughtily stepped into the fray. It's okay, because the rogue uses nimble dodge. What does that do? Blink it up. You definitely dodge a uh, gaining a plus two. Okay. So, as the... I wonder if I can apply that to you. Or if we just have to count it. Let's see. I think we just have to... I think I can do minus two on his roll here. So, as the skeleton guard swings down his evil scimitar... Yeah, I can add a negative. The 
nimble rogue, Drizz, tries to dodge out of the way. Luckily for him, he is successful. And he does a backflip over the vile instrument, avoiding harm for now. With that, the bard, Neji, what will you do? You're muted. I use Lingering Composition, and then I use Inspire Courage. All right, don't you roll for composition to see how long? Yeah. Oh, Let's go. What is it, a performance rate? I think, yeah. Again, yeah, standard difficulty. And they are, let's see what highest level it is. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be much. It's going to be a 16 DC. That's a crit. Good success. Yep. All right. So, composition lasts four rounds. Inspire Courage. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Inspire yeah. Courage. Yep. I'll give it. Um, oh, where is injury? I got y'all. Right. Awesome. Thank you. I can't really do anything else at this point, so I'm going to move <laughs> closer to the door. Maybe this door. I'll go Up here. here. Yeah, let's go here. Got gotcha. you. All right. So with that, the witch Hecka steps into the fray. What will you do? Uh, using some of the bones, I'm assuming, because the skeleton we killed crumbled, right? Sure. Yeah, he's whole bones there. Uh, telekinetic projectile. At the Hell Knight. Let's see here. Got him. Nice. I believe that's a... Let's see. It's a 29. That's a crit. So roll is is that crit damage? Uh no, I don't know how to get it. He, was, he wasn't targeting the Hell Knight, that's why. I don't know how to target them, that's why. Well, <laughs> does it, yeah, crit you deal oh it's just doubled if you crit. So yeah. we'll just double it, yeah. So casting an occult ev evocation. The witch commands a small but deadly a uh, cadre of bones to rise up from the pile of the fallen enemy and fly towards the skeletal hell knight dealing 24 damage but not fatally hitting this commander he's still standing and it is telekinetic is one act two actions yeah uh, that is two so, so with my run. other action, I will cast uh, Shield, which is one. So I have a plus one circumstance to AC until my next turn. Got you. See if I can... I don't think I can put that on you, so we'll just remember it. All right. So the witch concludes a successful turn and looks toward the drunken dwarf. He belches. What else will you do? I'm going to move in. And I'm going to take an attack at this Hell Knight also. Uh, You would need to step five more feet forward. Oh, he is back there, huh? And as you step forward, the Skeletal Hell Knight swings at you with an attack of opportunity. A vicious halberd comes down upon your head, hitting you with 
and causing you to suffer five damage. Uh, you need to roll a will save here, which you succeed. So although you were caught off guard, you are not stunned by this attack. Now that I'm in range, uh, and I think that's technically going to be two actions for me to get in range, because it was just past my movement limit. Yeah. So what will you do? Form an exacting strike. Uh, no, I'm not. Just kidding. I'm just going to take a regular strike. All right. Swing away. Ooh, a crushing blow by the rock deals six damage to the skeletal hell knight and he falls just like the others the guards now seem a little bit lost less directionless if they were commanded before they now seem to just go back to kind of shuffling mindlessly Wesley it is your turn you are standing uh, 25 feet from the nearest enemy am I am I in range of the hell knight That's you you can hit hit one of them yeah one of the Hell Knights? Well, there's one Hell Knight that died, but there's a skeleton, like, right near him. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that my. one you can hit. Right. Uh, hunt a prey on the Hell Knight. The Hell Knight's um, dead. Well, the they're, dead? They're, they're all, like, Hell Knight skeleton. Okay, hunt a prey on the closest. Uh, hold on. Alright, got him. And hunted shot. Hunted shot. So, with two Death shots, the hunter Wesley connects with one dealing a devastating three damage plus a precision edge bonus of one which crushes the skeleton guard. Just enough, nice. <laughs> one action remains. Uh, command animal, animal stricken to attack the other one with the flyby. Is there right, anything? In, there's nothing in range, right? Um, fifty one. I think no. I think she can, or is she or he, she can fly sixty, or he can fly sixty. Let me pull him down okay. here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fly is 60, so he can hit, he can hit this one, he can hit both of them, actually. 50, yeah, he can hit both of them, so we'll say, you want to hit the closest one or the farthest one? Uh, closest one. Alright, so Spriggan flies over to the skeleton guard, swoops down with a talon strike. Oh, it's the wrong one. Swoops down with the talon strike. And lands a blow. Just enough to crush the skeleton guard. And then fly back. To master. And with that. The only remaining skeleton guard shuffles mindlessly up the hallway stumbling over to the dwarf the rock 
and swinging its vile scimitar in his direction. Unfortunately, missing. With that miss, do I get to take a uh, attack of opportunity? <coughs> uh, well, you should have got one. You have you have that feat, then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can take one for it stepping into that square right there. So, reacting to the vile scimitar swung in his direction, Throck bears down with his battle axe nice. and crushes the last remaining skeleton guard, ending the encounter successfully. In one turn. Uh, Good we'll thing we leave. had that uh, four Boys. turn inspire courage. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. So, let's see here. For this encounter successfully completed, um, you guys receive 70 XP. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Mary, can I do a refocus activity? It takes 10 minutes to get a fo focus point back. Say again now? You uh, can refo what? Refocus. Wait 10 minutes? You want to ask oh, uh, your No, no um, I want to use uh, a re my refocus ability so I could get a focus point back, which takes 10 minutes. And real life minutes? Well, I mean, in game, <laughs> in game, whatever that takes. Uh, no, I'm gonna make you wait ten minutes. <laughs> All right, be right back. Be right back. I'm gonna get food. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would. When does it say you're supposed to be like? Is that like an exploration thing? Is that what you're? Here, I'll, I'll link the ability here in a sec. If I can. I mean, if it. you wanna hunker down in this place where there's. These noxious fumes slowly filling in from the west, and uh, oh, we're... is that what's happening? Well, I, I mean, they're they're burning. How, how do I link this? Yeah, y'all been in here. You know that was a combat, so that was only like a minute, right? Okay, so I'll um, I'll do it later then. Let's see, Google. <laughs> how long does it take to pass out from carbon monoxide? <laughs> We should put out that fire. I mean, just say. Yeah. No, let those bodies burn. I don't want to fight more Hell Knights. <laughs> They're not that hard. <laughs> yeah, they think. Uh, I think the carbon monoxide is harder than the, the Hell Knights. Hey, I mean, come on. You should know. You're a nurse. You got. You got a few hours. <laughs> well, gonna... I have no. I have no clue. I you Google get... too. You you're gonna get sick first. Don't worry. You'll know. <laughs> All right, so you stand amongst this, uh, obviously, room of lesser graves. These are just, you know, headstones in the floor. Think, you know, cathedral-style burial of someone in the, uh, you know, in the main chamber there. They're just in the floor with headstones. So if, if all these Hell Knights were in here, I wonder what's behind this door at the end of the hallway. Well, well, that's a good question. You might also ask yourself, uh, how is it that these graves have been disturbed? The, the Hell Knights. Cultists. <laughs> um, so, what are you looking for here, Neji? Uh, loot. Of course. So, <laughs> so, so as you look around this room, you notice that uh, unlike the previous crypts that you've just looted uh, and grave robbed, you 
there are there's nothing really of value on these bodies. They were just you know ordinary kind of uh, rank and file hell knights. So they they weren't buried with any honorary you know items or anything. Okay. And I take fingers or teeth to use as projectiles. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's all, all of their bones are intact, except for the one that you already crunched up into a projectile. But I would say you can't take more than like, what are you carrying right now? Let's see. I think this might be the boss room, Teo. Let's do it. I'm uh, exp all as much? Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you're where? Yeah, so you can you can carry two bulk of like bones and shit. All right, so yes, party. What will you do? Neji and Tharok seem to be eager to open this door. Oh, back here. The well, first thing I'm going to do is go in the sneak. Today. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do that too. Good idea. I, I prepared to play my battle music again. Okay. Are you sneaking? Or are you playing battle music? I'm 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 preparing to play it. Okay. Hopefully, so hopefully Neji's battle it. music is gonna distract him long enough for me to stay still. <laughs> I just can't believe. No, well, never mind. So there are no bones in the inventory thing? Uh, no. I mean, I could, like, sit here and, like, create an item and stuff, but it would take me, you like, a just minute. Add, add sling bullets instead? Uh, I mean, yeah. That's fair. That's pretty much what I'm going to use them for. Yeah, that's fair. Just, if you do use them, remember to take it down. Mm -hmm. And it, it might not, the weight's probably not as much as I said, or unless you want to add, like, two bulk worth or whatever. All right, so what are you looking for there? The door? You looking at the door? Yeah, I, I stick my ear to the door to see if I hear anything behind it. Um, so, let's see here. To yeah, see if you you said like I get my ear caught in a door hinge or something. You said <laughs> you said to see if you hear anything behind it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. You you don't hear anything odd other than you know kind of like the eerie shuffling and such that you've kind of come to expect from this place all right um so let's go in all right who's gonna open the door Knock yourself out, Tiny. <laughs> I don't want to open it. I mean, I stand behind the rock. Okay. Ooh. Hey, Alex. So, as you peer into this room, you see rows of large metal and stone lockboxes lining the winding walls of what appears to be a storeroom. There are occasional shelves and what look like filing cabinets intended for the storage of documents. The lockboxes hang ajar, having been opened and empty long ago. An obvious set of tracks in the dusty floor suggests someone recently moved about in here, more than one. A pile of ashes and a few melted candle stubs lie atop a low table in the center of the room. To the south, noticing that uh, light has it emerged all of a sudden from this western door uh alec turns and greets the party and he says my friends i found it i found my heirloom that's great awesome. we uh got attacked by a lot of shit that's great and yeah up. how did you get in here i whispered to drez yo throw your knife at him what I whisper back, I haven't been paid yet. Oh, shit. You're not going to ask him, like, what it is? It's not about the gold. <laughs> I, um... Wow. 
I say hi to Alec and ask what, what the heirloom is. And why, why did he disappear when we were camping that one night? And how did he get past the skeletons? Mm, With an yes. impact. Well, he tells you it was quite easy. Because these skeletons, though undead and mindless, raised obviously by some sort of necromantic spell, uh, when they saw him, did nothing. Because he bore the regalia of a Hell Knight Armager. So he easily slipped into this room in search of his uh, family heirloom. Uh, as he says this, he produces a small uh, box. Uh, and he opens it. And his face, although he's been you know, happy telling you, I found it, I found it. His face, you see, slips to a, uh, just like a saddened, you know, look, just de dejection. He hands you this box and he says, I knew, I knew it had to be in here, but look, stolen like the rest. So he hands Neji, since you're kind of closest to him here, he hands you this box. I asked him what was supposed to be in this box. Uh, my heirloom. I knew it was going to be in there. This box bears our family seal. But look, empty. Do you know who, where it may have gone? Which direction? He encourages you to look closer at the box through a perception check. Okay. I look closer at the box. Um... Uh, I'm going to close this door. <laughs> so go ahead and stick your face right in there so that you can't mm -hmm. see what he's doing. Yeah. Alright, so... Even though your perception is quite trained, expert in fact, you just can't seem to discern um, anything unusual. Although you're not convinced that this is just a normal box. Can we take the box and go throw it on the pyre with the burning bodies in the previous room? Uh, you, you sure? Alec, um, is there anything special about this box that, uh, that might help us look for the item that was in it? He looks at you dejected, and he says, If there is, I've not found it. Alright. What do you guys want to do now? Uh, what will you do now, Alec? So, just, I... to, just to be clear, you failed the, the check. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> I failed it on a twenty-four. Holy crap! Um, I, I, uh, it was so close. I hand it to who has high perception here. Me and Chesty. I hand the the chest to Chesty. <laughs> okay, I, I hand it to. Do you do you want to aid him? With I'll a song? Him. I'll aid him with a song to to help him focus. There you go. So what, what do I need to roll for that performance, right? Yes. Okay. And I think if it's a crit, then you're uh, plus two, is that right? Or plus four? Plus two is the regular, plus four is the crit, I think. Okay, so you just need the regular. That should be easy. Excellent. Enough. So... Inspired by the encouraging words of Neji, the performance of what did you perform? Um, I have I don't know, some more battle music. <laughs> All right, inspired by the battle music of Neji, Drez squints, looks at the box, and immediately recognizes this type of contraption as something he's used himself. The box has a false bottom. Roll a thievery check. Drez. 
All right, with expert uh, lock picking skills, Drez pops open the false bottom of this box, revealing the Stagram heirloom ring. Now, he's kind of dumb, isn't he? He's in training, dude. Of course he's done. So, you have discovered Alex Heirloom here, but he, so far, has somebody close. He, <laughs> so, he so far has not noticed that you, he's kind of just dejected. I, uh, uh, I asked the party what you guys want to do. So, so, that that so, ring so got any stats on it? No, it's just, it's got nothing. Probably valuable. 25 gold, but no description. I say we give it to him. Alright. I agree. I, I, uh, I wave to Alec. Alec, um, come over here. We found your ring. It was in the hidden compartment in the box. But stay on that side of the door, just in case. <laughs> so he, he rushes over to you, and he exclaims, Oh, my friends! He takes the ring... And he slips it on his finger. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Boss fight. And he tells you, I remember sitting on my father's lap and turning this ring on his finger when I was but a boy. Thank you for reigniting me with those memories, my friends. You have the Order of the Nails gratitude and mine. He informs you at this point that he will continue to travel with you and provide you aid from here out. And he's sorry that he left you before, but the the quest to find this heirloom was so urgent to him that he had to uh, immediately seek out this particular room, the vault of the nail. The vault of the nail, huh? Can we send our resident loot goblin on an exploration? You know what? I'm just going to step inside here. Well, so, <laughs> while you decide how you want to look through this room, give me a moment. I need to run to the bathroom. You can you can go ahead and roll checks. I'll know it's that one from right there. Uh, Well, let me pause it. So, I guess you will roll them real quick, and then I'll pause it so you can't Man, cheat. That's my second one. I'm going to lay off the alcohol. Oh. Wes, you in here now? Uh, yeah. Even if you can get him because he can't see. I was about to see. Well, he's got. He's got dark vision, I think. Uh, yeah. Or not dark vision, but. Uh, low light, light vision. vision. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause it so y'all can't cheat. I'll be right back. <laughs> no trust. So they've got a pocket NPC, huh? Yeah, it might be a little OP now. I mean, okay. he's a walking murder machine most of the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll be right back also. All right, and with that, everybody here and good? Yeah. Okay, so, yes, you are in this vault. Uh, as I said, just to remind you, there's rows of large metal stone lock boxes. There's what look like filing cabinets. 
There's a pile of ashes and a few melted candle stubs on this table right here in the middle, this low table. Um, so, let's see your checks here. So, Drez, he rolled first. And he looks around this room. Um, and you all look around this room. You're spending about ten minutes or so. <laughs> Uh, and you discover in the northern part of this room a stack of papers oddly held down by not just a normal paperweight but a silver religious symbol in the shape of the goddess Alesta, two faces in profile. So you guys can all come over here and examine these papers. They're not just the normal Hell Knight registries. They're actually magical scrolls. So you see a scroll of heal, a scroll of darkness, a scroll of magic missile, and a scroll of dark vision. Each with only one charge. I'll take the scroll of darkness if nobody wants it. You should be able. Can you guys take stuff out of that? I think you should be able to. Um, Mary, we can learn stuff from scrolls, right? You, I, I can, right? Or I can. You can. Yeah. If it's in the school, right? Like we were saying earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. This is uh, I see a cult yeah. for dark vision and darkness. Um, Ain't but right. you wanted you wanted the darkness one, Drea. I'll take the dark vision. And yeah, I, I already have dark vision, so it won't help me. I think okay. the I think the only exception is right like it doesn't add a slot it just puts it in your like repertoire and then you can it's like one of your ones you can swap out isn't yeah, that well, right I mean it, it would go in my spell book right because I have that skill now Well you're right but for you it's your repertoire right Well I I have a repertoire and a spell book Okay that's where your excess ones go yeah, yeah. Got gotcha. you Didn't we did we fix that right where you can access your spell book yeah, I added right. it. I added it um, earlier. Okay, I took the. Yeah, I I see what you did. Yeah, yeah, that's um, cool. I'll, I'll take the heal as well because that's I think the heal is an AOE, right? Uh, look at it. Yeah, range, range of thirty feet. Okay, yeah. I'll take the heal. I'll I'll take the heal. Um, in case of emergencies here. Um, then... Drea, you can take the darkness, I guess, and if anyone needs a magic missile, I, I know me and Drea both have that. Alright, so... How about the symbol, though? It is non-magical. It is just kind of like a paper. I have a deity already. Alcohol. I'm just I'll taking do. them solid if no one can tell. Caden. I can use it as a projectile. <laughs> All right, there you go. Caden, Caden. Okay, so. So far, your checks here have just been to examine the room. And you were successful in that. Remaining in this room to be examined are the melted candles and ash. But to discern anything about what may have occurred here, you will need to identify magic. Can I do an occultism check too? Um, it, it wouldn't help. No. Identify okay. magic is different than detect magic, right? I believe so. I think okay. that it is under the exploration skills. Yeah, I think everybody can do it. Oh, okay. Is it exploration skills? Um, let me look it up. I cannot detect magic. Detect. There you go. It's in right. the identify magic, right? Yeah, it's in the chat thing. 
Yeah, I identify. Either. Did I say detect? Yeah, I can't identify magic either. Yeah, I can identify alchemy, but not magic. Same. Okay, well, I guess it's not everybody then. How do but, I use it here? Uh, uh, you just roll. Just roll a d20. Discover... So, you you try to discern what has happened here, um, and you can tell that there was something magical, uh, and that spells were cast, but you you can't tell just exactly what happened. Anyone else want to try here? Might need like a higher roll. Well, should we be getting any bonus on that, or? I don't think it is. I think it's just a straight up. Let me look again. Well, I have it. I mean, I put it in the thing on the side. I don't know if it's it's not really saying either way. But it's, I mean. The GM sets the DC for the check. Yeah, so. Right. First, or, uh, uh, nope. Yeah. Nope, no bonuses. Let's mm. say when I'm looking at it in the, um. The, ex the the tab though it's saying you can do I can do arcana or occultism for it that's why I ask and like when I open my exploration tab on my sheet yeah if it's yeah, I mean I, if it I, says I, that I, then I think it would be let's look it's in your exploration skills yep let's see identify magic yeah yeah so you can click occultism and roll yeah yeah you're right you're absolutely right so yeah Nancy, i was wrong dude oh. it's you should have been able to roll with arcana or occultism too yours okay. is only half what his is so that, and that was uh, a lot of crit so <laughs> yeah yeah so the witch steps up to the table and you can tell that she is familiar with what has occurred here she begins to explain to you that a necromantic spell was performed here, part of a ritualistic uh, ceremony to communicate with lingering spirits of the dead. At this, Alec pipes up with a gasp, and he informs you that that would explain what's occurred here, because it was standard practice... Of the Hell Knights and still somewhat is today for those older members of the order to protect their graves with wards against magic and that these risen soldiers you've just encountered must be a result of uh, detection essentially of whatever occurred here with that discovered, the thief Drez pipes up and points out that you guys really haven't looked closely at the second set of footprints here. Drez, roll a perception check. He tells you, just barely that he recognizes these footprints from when you were back in Breach Hill examining the bookstore, the Reliant Book Company, and that these footprints can belong to none other than Vaz Lorraine, the owner of the Reliant Book Company. He remembers them well because as you guys searched that place, uh, you know, he was casing the joint to come back later. And so he noticed all of these intricate details and committed them to memory. So now you know the culprit who conducted this spell at this seemingly makeshift altar. You have two exits unexplored out of this room. One to the northeast and one just below you to the southwest. What will the party do now? Before you decide, though, 
everyone award themselves 120 XP for giving Alec back his heirloom. Sweet. Can I do my refocus now, Mary? Yeah. I right. would say if you guys want to wait in this room, it is relatively safe. We up to now, 240? 240, yeah. Cool. Um, you guys want to go north or south? North door or south door? Uh, I think there's a I think there's a boss fight up here in the north door because it's like away from all the other areas. This book won, bro. <laughs> Let's you want to fight a boss, it. man? I say we check south and just see if it's like a room on its own or a hallway that leads elsewhere. All right. And if it's a hallway, we go to the north and see what's up there. I open the door. And I go uh, As you open the door, Alec notices the painting in your backpack, and he says, What do you have there, my friend? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a piece of paper I found. I mean, it's not a lie. I do. Do I need to lie? <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a lie. It is I a mean, piece of paper you found. <laughs> he'll believe you. I, I I can't lie. I I have to I have to RP a little bit here. My, I'm a, a good natured board. I show him the map. Oh, sorry, the painting in my uh, backpack. This is what it is, Alec. He gasps and he tells you that this is a beloved ancestor of his who has painted this scene depicting other beloved ancestors of his. He asks you. If you will return it to him. I will return it to him. Fine, Alec. Even though he ditched us that night. He, for the first time, you see uh, tears uh, well up in his eyes. And he, he just thanks you profusely. The party is awarded 80 XP for returning this painting to Alec. That rather would have kept the, the gold. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, I didn't make you. I just suggested. You just noticed, bro. You put shit in your backpack. It's not a big backpack, you know. It was sticking out. Trying to shoplift. Wasn't the bag of holding. Just kidding. Was it? I don't even remember if it was. I don't know. Probably. Get wrecked. Right. <laughs> get um, get XP. Alright, so you have opened this door. Do you step through the threshold? I, I need my uh, mobile flashlight, Mr. Thorock, if you want to come step over here, good sir. Rock and stone. All right, as you guys peer through the doorway, you are greeted by a very narrow hallway that you can only walk down single file once again. You notice, though, ahead of you and on the northern wall of this room, there seem to be narrow stone coffin-sized compartments stretching from the floor to the ceiling. This room seems a little more claustrophobic than those that you've come through so far. Edgy, you're small. You shouldn't be claustrophobic. Uh, you you fail to notice anything unusual. Uh, Neji, however, does peer into the darkness and notice that some of these compartments are occupied with shroud-covered bodies, but some of them are conspicuously empty. I pick up a rock off the ground and throw it into that, that uh, room up ahead. You throw a rock into that room? Yeah, this this space here. Okay. This area. 
Uh, how big is the rock? Um, like That's palm size. Four. Okay. Um, roll roll an athletics check to see how far you throw it, and then tell me how far you're trying to throw it within. Yeah. I would say you know sixty feet if you if you're successful. Sure. It's, uh, okay, athletics. Oh, not bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you you are able to throw it uh, up to sixty feet. So where are you throw? I throw it uh, like here. Hold on, let me grab cameraman. Where's he at? Oh god, I lost him. Alright, right there? Yeah. So like the full 60 feet, yeah? Almost? No, 30 feet. Oh, no, like half there. Okay, so... Uh, you, t you successfully toss a rock into this room and you are greeted only by the echoing sound of that rock clanking on the floor and that's it all right i guess we have to walk in there to activate the the fight <laughs> so we try the other door but close yeah. this one behind us all right let's do that dude i should have made this i can't find the little cameraman guy Ooh, legs Oh, yeah. It was weird. Oh, well, maybe because I switched tabs. I'm trying to find the little cameraman, dude. I don't know what I did with him. Small box. There's the box. I can do this, though. Oh, he's way back here, maybe. Sorry, guys. Very unprofessional. No, here we go. I found him. Sorry. Okay. So you guys are going up here to this room. Yeah. You're gonna you close that door. You're not going further into there. We'll check it out after. Okay. So as you peer into this space, uh, you notice that there are various storage racks and cabinets cluttered along the narrow space. Some are empty. Though others contain dusty banners with Order of the Nails, Sunburst Insignia, something you've come to rec recognize. Um, other trappings are clearly designed for formal funerals. Curiously, in the back of the room, you seem to notice a dirt-walled tunnel opening and stretching into the gloom. And the set of tracks that you saw in the previous room are leading to and from that tunnel. So it seems to be the way that this place was accessed by the previously identified Vaz. Okay, so it looks like this will progress the story. So um, I think these other rooms are just side rooms. So you just want to check them now or check them later? You can check them now. I can send my scout down that tunnel and see what's there too while we're doing it. What do you guys think, the rest of you? I mean, I say check them now. Yeah, let's do that. So, so are we going back to this uh, scary hallway? <laughs> All right. So you guys move back across this room, and what will you do? Can we just Leroy it. You mean the rocket? <laughs> the rocket. Yeah, let's go. Let me move my little cameraman in here. Alright, so... As you charge into this room further... You... Don't really see anything. It's eerily quiet. Though claustrophobic. You are now in between two rows of these coffins. Only ten feet. You can only stand two, two abreast, as it were. Um, but there's nothing that you have seen so far. Okay, 
um, let us continue, I guess. Well, it looks like we can go further south, right? Is there a way down there? It doesn't look okay. like there's a wall there. I think that's a wall. That's a wall, right, Mary? Oh, right. That yeah, this is a row of coffins similar okay. oh, similar to, okay. to what's here. All right, so as you step around this corner, an eerie noise comes from the southern wall. Oh shit! Here we go. Down. <laughs> <laughs> and you are immediately engaged by some sort of creature you have not seen before. I think, ooh, let me get all of you. Uh, ooh. Oh, that should be off anyway. I paused it. There you go. Now it's unpaused. Just I'm trying to capture where everybody was at. Is everybody in this room? Yeah, I think no, so. I don't know. Where is everybody? Huh? Where are you? I'm like... Oh, you're back there. Oh, shit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me move you. They everybody came in here, so I will. I'll give you right here because this is where everybody was. Are you at home now, us? Uh, I am. Nice. But yeah, still, still dealing with some Windows problems. So I'm trying to figure this out. I could probably use the browser now. What's is it being weird? You're real off. Uh, I think I got it to work. But yeah. Oh, I definitely got it to work. Nice. Okay, and so this encounter uh begins with Neji. Alright, um What will you do? Uh, typical first first round move for me is uh, lingering composition, so I'll roll performance. Um, let's see, performance. Da, 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 da. Don't forget to remove your inspire courage. Yeah, here I'm gonna move you one up. I'm looking for the cameraman again. Alright, twenty-seven. All right, so that's definitely a crit, right? Yeah, for lingering. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a crit. All right. So everybody is lingeringly composed. <laughs> and then... um. There we go. I guess for my next move, can I attempt to talk to one of these uh, hell crowns, Mary? You want to attempt to speak to the yeah. hell crown? Yeah. Um... You you can, yeah. That would be diplomacy. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. What's my diplomacy here? There it is. Okay. Nice. Um. I you, I asked. What do you them, say to it? I, I tell them that um, we're not hostile, uh, we're just coming through, and we have our a Hell Knight friend, Alec, that's with us, that we're accompanying. Uh, so... Uh, it, it, they, they don't recognize the name Alec, they tell you. Um, they only recognize that you are intruders and that they are bringing order back to the crypt. Can I be like, can I point at Alec? He's, but he they, should be with us, right? Mary? But they, they do speak to you in common. Uh, okay. he is, he is with you. Yeah. But he's back up in the hallway. Oh, shit. Hey, well, tell him to whip out the painting of the ancestors. He might, <laughs> they might recognize the ancestors. Yeah, like, can we bring Alec in here and have him show the ring or whatever? The ring or maybe his armor will be sufficient? I don't know, is, is Alec even in combat? Yeah, 
He's in oh, okay. he's in the encounter with you for sure. Oh shit, so we gotta wait his turn to for him to get up here then. Is that is that the case or Uh yeah, I mean I mean you could speak to him. You could use one of your actions to speak to him. Alec, get over here. We need you. We need you to, we need you to speak to the ghosts of uh, some Hell Knights. Um, he tell he tells you, you know, he he will move up there to parlay the, <laughs> when it's okay. his turn. Okay, well, that's that's it for me then. That's three. Okay, so with that, uh, the Hell Crown. Further back in the shadows, not the one you were parlaying with, he, with a uh, miraculous, almost, uh, quickness, uh, flies over to greet the bard here. And you notice at this moment that they are in, fla in, fa in, flact, in fact flying. Which means they are about five feet off the ground at all times. So, from his uh, odd visage of almost flame and, and muscle and armor and just vileness comes a nail just straight out of himself. I, I, use, empath I use empathetic plea before he does that. Okay. So, so check. Alright, so it's a DC 20. Uh, yeah, alright. Okay, so you are successful <clears throat> with your puppy dog eyes. Um, are you, what are you in diplomacy? Are you I'm, trained? Tra I'm trained, so, yeah. Just trained? Alright, so he takes a minus two penalty on this vicious nail that comes flying out at you ah but it's not enough this foul emanation hits you causing you five damage and roll a fortitude save All right, you successfully squirm your way free and the nail dislodges from your flesh, not before uh, causing you five damage. With that, the Hell Knight, or the, excuse me, the Hell Crown lets out a vicious, uh, almost a gasping noise and uh, is now the Ranger Wes's turn. On my target, on prey, on the shot. Oof. Oh, damn. Terrible. Wolf. At least it wasn't a critical failure. You would have hit everyone in your path. <laughs> so, so one one shot finds its mark. Roll some damage. Right, not bad. And this ghostly visage lets out a howling gasp as it takes 11 damage one action remains yes 
Yeah, I'll command. Uh, I'll do command animals. Spriggan. Spriggan. On that same one? Uh, yeah, on that same one. Alright, Spriggan flies into action here. Swooping down with the Talon Strike. Crushing the Hail Crown with its talons and dealing four damage before it flies off back to its master. So, with that, a Hail Crown once more enters the fray. This time, however. He doesn't step into melee range just yet. So he makes a move towards the party and without making much more of a sound seems to target who he thinks is most vulnerable, the witch, Hekka. And he lashes out with this vile nail attack. Landing a hit just barely. Heck a roll a fortitude save. Oh no. So. The nail embeds itself into the witch's flesh, dealing five damage and enfeebling her. And causing her uh, to bleed slightly. It's a good thing we're on the martial class. All right, so with that, Damn it, Alec. the the, <laughs> the hell crown is not done. It turns and kind of grows larger, staring the witch down. Roll a will save again, please. Or no, you wrote 4 2 before. Roll a wheel save for me. So, this hell crown strikes fear into the heart of the witch and causes her to become uh, frightened. With that, Drez, you step into the fray once more all right and i'm still undetected right you are stealthy stealthily stealthing yes all right i'm going to stealthily stealth right here beside this thingy I'm going to target it and it should be flat-footed And using my rings of power, I am going to make a dagger strike. A new episode's out tonight, right? Yeah, it should be, whenever time they release. Okay. Should be done by the time we're done here. It should be out by the time we're done, I think, right? Ooh, oh, nice hit. Bitch. Well, well done. Holy shit. Ouch. So, Drez swings around with critical precision, landing a blow on this foul abomination. And as he lands a killing blow, it screeches with a horrible sound and then just dissipates into the air. All right, then I'm going to target, uh, I'll say this one right here, and throwing knife. You're on Up a roll. your butt! 
<laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so even with a, a strained arm from his critical strike with the dagger, Driz, with just unbelievable precision, uh, flings a throwing knife down the hallway, landing a crushing blow on this hell crown. And he also dissipates into thin air. With that, Alec steps into the fray. He turns to the bard and asks, What would you have me say to these creatures? Alec, tell this guy you're a Hell Knight and you're part of the Order. And um, maybe show him your ring that, you've, that we, we found. So, he turns and speaks to the Hell Crown, who obviously recognizes that he is part of the Order. He greets him with, you know, honorary titles and, and you know, respect and all of the, the jazz. Um, and after they parlay for just a bit, uh, he turns to you and says, My friends... These foul creatures will not harm me, but they will not cease until you are dealt with. Will you assist us in uh, dealing with these creatures? Because we don't want to die. <laughs> he tells you that although he will help you in all of your endeavors, he's oath bound not to harm these creatures. I'm not sure we're all that in all that much danger. Uh, two of them just died just, in one turn. You know what, let me RP here for a bit, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right, though. Well, Alec, you're useless. All right, that my plan didn't work. <laughs> I tried. You were the shot. Right. So with that, the hell crown that was previously um, parlayed with, he just lashes out at Driz with his knife or his nail. Excuse me. Nimble so, damage. this. <laughs> go ahead. Do you have to roll for anything? No, it just gives me a plus activating two bonus. trigger. All right, so, and it's what, minus two, right? Yeah, or plus two for me, whichever way it works out. Yeah. So with that, uh, the nail flies forth from the hell crown. Drez is prepared, though, and he does a backflip over this uh, disgusting uh, emanation. Um... With that, the Hell Crown screeches and unleashes yet another nail, this time aimed at the bard, Neji. Mm. However, he didn't count on the fact that Neji loves disgusting protuberances. <laughs> and as the nail flies towards him he smacks it with his loot uh, causing the hell crown to suffer uh, three damage oh whoop that's way too much there we go so with that the rock what will you do First push Alec out of the way. I'm having trouble targeting this one that's closest to us. Isn't there one close to us? Or no, they're both away from us. Alright. Yeah, so I'm just going to move in and try to finish these guys off. I can turn it. It's all right. Whatever. Uh, 
Good roll. All right, with devastating criticality, the rock swings his battle axe, crushing the hell crown, and it wisps away in a puff like the others so far. Is that was that your third action because you had to move? Uh, should only be two. Okay. Moved, attacked. Oh yeah, that was only like fifteen feet. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So one action remains. Uh, take cover. <laughs> yeah. Is there, I, is, there I, is there anywhere to take cover here? I guess you could hide in, t in one of the. The nooks where the the bodies would be, whatever. You gonna cr you gonna crawl up on a corpse? Well, I mean, there's there's empty empty ones here, right? Or or you could push one out of the way. I've done worse. <laughs> I'm just trying to get cover for you, man. Is that uh, what I'm you're going gonna to do? Attempt to... an intimidating glare on this hell crown at the far end of the hallway. See if I can link it for you. Isn't it just uh, intimidate roll? Yeah. Demoralize. Yeah. Uh, demoralize. Yeah. Go ahead. There's no penalty. It does speak common. It already spoke to you guys in common. And it wouldn't matter anyway. The girl. Okay. So, okay. as you attempt to give your best, uh, like blue steel face to this thing. <laughs> It uh, it doesn't care at all. It actually moves forward to greet you, and it lashes out with its nail. Hey, there's there's no uh crit fail result for demoralized FYI. Uh, I I think I just made one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As the nail flies towards you, Tharok, you take an attack of opportunity. Roll an attack. So, as the nail flies out towards the rock. Uh, he slashes down at it, severing it, and the hell crown just screams in an, in an otherworldly gasp of pain, uh, as it too dissipates into thin air. Ending this encounter successfully. Good work, team. Is that one turn again? Yeah. <laughs> I I didn't even go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, uh, their bodies just disappeared, right, Marie? Once they died. Uh, yes, yes, okay. I did. Do you hear me? Yeah. All right. So let me clear off everybody here. Make sure we clean that up. There we go. So, uh, for these critters here, you, you adventurers are due. Let's see. They are. Dun, 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 dun. You get 60 XP. What are we at now? 300? Yeah. 380. 380? 380. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sweet. She ain't a lady. She ain't 380. Okay, so, with this threat eliminated, you are now just standing in this claustrophobic room of coffins. What will you do? Let us keep moving, I guess. Mr. Well, Flashlight. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> will you search this room? Oh, that's probably if, a good idea. If you, if you will, roll a perception check if you're searching. Oh, 
Ooh, nice. So, Alec grimaces somewhat as you begin rifling through these graves and coffins. He tells you, I understand, do what you must, just don't desecrate the bodies. So you all rifle through and come up empty-handed, just, you know, handfuls Nobody of... take him back in the hallway where those bodies are on fire. Hand, <laughs> handfuls of uh, dust and rat droppings, except for the ranger, Wes, who uh, proudly proclaims, I found something, as he produces a um, wand of heal... And I'm going to put that just right in your inventory. Well, well, of course he, <laughs> He's got it. Let's see here. Let me change it. You could give it, you could give it to the blue goblin. <laughs> yeah. So, you handing it over to him? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it has uh, one use. Let's see here. Do, do, do. And I think we will have to just like use the uh, like use the heal spell when we do it because I just kind of whipped it up on the fly here. Okay. Let me if this. if you go to use it, that is, we'll just do the heal spell. Yeah. You because know? it's just uh, it's just generic, so I didn't like put heal in there yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. No no other bonuses on this one, right? Just the just the heal. No, just wand to heal first level. Okay. Yeah. I can drag the spell onto it. Give me two seconds. Uh, here we go. There you go. I made the right one. Thank you. Alright, so. You have a... You have searched through uh, as many graves as are worth searching through in this room. What will you do? There is uh, the exit that you just came back through, the narrow hallway this way. Uh, and then the room seems to end kind of over here. There's still this room here, the um, from this the the, the third um, hallway. Yeah, it's a long walk back though. <laughs> well, I mean, everything's dead, so we can just keep going. It's it's not that long of a walk. <laughs> All, All right, right so we you, north here. You guys decide to travel back up to the main. Uh, vault way. If we cross here, Alec is gonna get upset. Um. Okay. We, we'll go, we'll take the long way. <laughs> <laughs> take the long way. Which way are you going? We'll go, we'll go back to the vault and then. Um... Okay. And then, do we go out this door? All right, he'll still see it. Or we'll just tell him, hey, Alec, why don't you wait here for a sec? Um, we just have to check something in the main hallway. He says, okay, my friends, I will stand watch. All right, no, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me come up here with the cameraman. Right. Uh the lids are broken, so what are we gonna do? Um Okay, so step one is somebody needs to go get the bear. <laughs> and then step two is we blame it on the bear. Oh, I was I was I was moving you with are the um, are the corpses oh. done burning now, Mary, or are they still going? They're they're still burning. 
They're not they're not raging, roaring, but they're smoldering and uh, you know, smoke is filling the air. Still, there's a <laughs> strong odor of you know burning flesh. Um, yeah. What, what do you want to do here? Just leave it, or can you attempt to put our friend Alec to sleep, and we can carry him past this room? <laughs> well, I mean, um. <laughs> No, because we're just going to a side room, right? We'll do the side room, and then we'll do, like, the, the next story area. Um, as Neji and Tharok stand here lingering close to the flames, they suddenly just start vomiting. And, yeah, nice try. You were standing there. And <laughs> they become sickened. Damn it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go check out that side room. <laughs> what does second do? Uh... We'll still second, and I'll tell you. Uh, so second, second is you are t taking a status penalty equal to the value, which is one, on all checks and DCs. You can't willingly ingest anything. You can spend an action retching to attempt a fortitude save against the DC of the sickening effect, which would be 16. On a success, you can reduce the value by one. I'll go ahead and vomit. I drink enough. So it's standard practice okay. for me. <laughs> so roll a fortitude save. Alright, so you wretch and vomit all over the floor uh and you are no longer sickened but there is vomit on the floor <laughs> I, I also try to vomit it out all right you also vomit on the floor <laughs> in the narrow hallway that everyone must walk through and are no longer why sickened west, why did west roll a fortitude throw <laughs> Which uh, which squares are the the vomit? Oh wait, in? oh that was Wes's. No, yeah, you roll one, Nizhi. Let me do all right. Yeah, I thought that was yours. Oops. All right, so just bar <laughs> just barely, you vomit into the hallway. That doesn't make it rough terrain, does it? <laughs> uh, no, but as you all move through the hallway, uh, roll a fortitude save. Even those of us that have already yacked? Mm-hmm, because he was in front of you. Well, not Neji, everybody else, who's not still not okay, moved through the hallway. So good. Okay. Yeah, you're all good. All oh, right, no. so oh, yeah, with a one. You, I want to change my dice. These suck. <laughs> so, so as you as you all move through the hallway, you everybody kind of turns green and looks gross. Ugh. But the witch becomes sickened by the sight of multiple piles of vomit. Um, yeah. So everybody, I think the party. I think y'all are all moving back to the hallway, right? So I'm going to move everybody up to this narrow passageway. It's kind of tricky. Boom. 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 It's hard to move through like diagonal spaces. Yeah. All right, so I believe that's everyone. The party is, has all returned to the vaultway here. What will you do? Mm. You gonna move down this third hallway here? Yeah, Mister Flashlight, the Rock. The flashlight. Mr. Flashlight, let's go. Flashlight with an E. <laughs> Dead end. 
Is it really? Or yeah. is it? <clears throat> uh, perception check? So, the rogue, Drez, tells the doubting Tharok not to fear. He has perceived that this wall is, in fact, no wall at all. It is a secret passage. He steps up. He finds a finger-shaped hole, and he expertly slips his finger in, causing the bricks to shake and quiver. Oh, and I know how to expertly <laughs> slip a finger in. And open, revealing to the party a hidden set of crypts. We talking like Snoop Dogg Crips or like Stuff Buried Crips? Well, you see in front of you a raised dais. You can sort of tell that there seems to be more than one. Are we going to check each one again? They stretch from east to west, um, but these are these are huge. These are massive coffins. They have carvings all over them with all types of, you know, uh, just honorary symbols and things like that. Um, something's amiss in this room, though. Two of them are ominously open. Can I do a detect magic? Sure. Um, let's see. There. Okay. So, uh, you discern that the necromantic ward that was protecting the crypt, uh, is, is, has definitely triggered some sort of response and it it's emanating from the two open coffins well, yeah, can we'll I go lay helmets. down in one of the coffins and see if can, it transports me somewhere let, you said what lay down in one of the coffins and do what yeah, see if I get transported to a new area. Oh, this is not Elden Ring. No. <laughs> this is worth a shot, though. My bad. My bad. Uh, so, I, I see you're moving them there. So, the coffins, like I say, they're on raised daises. So, are you going? Are you attempting to climb up on the dais and, like, look no, in I'm the coffin? Alongside. Okay. Are we, are we able to open these uh, coffins? The ones that haven't been opened yet? Uh yeah, I mean they're they're like the other ones. They have massive stone lids. So, uh, for the for these, you would have to roll a DC twenty two athletics check to see if you got it open. I, I got this. Come on, Taya, let's go. Loot Goblin needs some loot. Well, but 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 it's it's up off the ground. So first, you would need to uh. Climb up. You need to climb up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I climb up. Okay. So, which one are you climbing up? Uh, let's climb up this one right next to the open one. Right here? Yep. Okay. So, as you climb up on top of that one and you slide it open, uh, the sound is not unheard and from the one right next to you uh a white if you will appears the uh, undead body of a fallen lictor of the hell knight order and you are all immediately engaged by this creature This is probably going to tell me that all these coffins... Yeah, there we go. I got all of you. Yeah. So. As combat begins, uh, Serafina Deviri lets out a 
ghastly shriek, and from the far coffin, another sp spirit, if you will, emerges. Another lictor of the Hell Knight Order. Holy shit. Name mobs. Lictor, I barely know her. <laughs> Never stopped you before. And with that deadpan style, the rogue enters the fray. Drez, what will you do? Um, I will. Are these guys supposed to be like hidden underneath the coffins? Because I can barely see them. You know, probably here. just delete the coffins, Mary, if there's no yeah. items in them, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, undetected and taking advantage of my surprise attack for my high initiative roll, I move over here towards Serafina. Target her bitch ass with my targeting computer. And stabity stab stab. Was that crit, bro? Saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> All right, so as you bear down on this foul creature, uh, you realize that you had to climb up before you did that. <laughs> so that would have actually used an action to get up on there I hacked at her ankles I'm tall enough <laughs> it's on a dais respect the dais alright but you land a blow to Serafina and she lets out another ghastly howl as she suffers 15 damage with that you you are up on the dais with her by the way. And the dwarf, the rock, jumps in. You are on top of this other one, so you could jump over. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do also. Uh, I'm going to temporarily hide this one, but there there are items that you discovered when you opened that. Alright. Um, oh, um, I think you need a running start to not get a penalty for long jumping don't you for jumping he can't yeah but he can't really it's not really a long jump because it's like oh, it's like, like a hop or what? it's like less than five feet yeah oh, okay, okay. so he could do just I do, a, need to do a, a long jump check or just it'd be a dc 16 like athletic i guess do you have long jump the skill yeah i do yeah but it should just be athletics anyway right oh it's a strength check um so yeah, you just leap normally, which is like way you you can leap over there. So boom, you do. All right. So we're going to take a, an exacting strike. Glad I did. So now I can strike again. Nice. Without a map. Roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And not like it mattered. Oh, it's a, it oh, hit. It did. Awesome. So, with devastating cruelty, Therok bears down on Serafina, dealing eight damage to this foul beast. Another ghastly shriek emanates throughout the crypt. Hey Mary, how high is the dais? It's about five feet, just under. I mean, it's okay. not like super tall. You can get up it without a climb check, but it so, takes an action. Is it, is it uh, more or under five feet? Because if it's over five feet, um, we could push people off and they can take fall damage. No, anything you push off, I mean, it would, yeah. it, they they would maybe be prone just from falling off of yeah. it, but no, it wouldn't damage them any, okay. really. Where are, you, where are you at? Are you in the hallway? I'm with uh, the rest of these peeps oh, over here in I got the you. Well, really, you guys should be kind of lined up. I shouldn't have let you just plow through the door altogether. But, with that, Yorick turns 
he leaps across the dais with an unimaginable skill landing onto the same one that you guys are all atop of the stone dais cannot bear the weight of all of these creatures or perhaps from the impact so this one now is just regular terrain it's flat on the ground well it's it's difficult terrain to move out of but it's just flat on the ground that's what i mean to say uh he takes aim at the dwarf who was just swinging at his uh beloved seraphina and he bears down with a vicious claw he plants these claws into the dwarf skin he shrieks in pain as he takes six damage And he gains three temporary hit points from doing so. Uh, Tharok, roll a fortitude save, please, sir. Hey, Mary, I can't open my character sheet. It says I don't have sufficient permissions. Are you sure you're not just like clicking Drea or something? I'm, pre I'm just pressing C. Uh, or I could just reload. Let me try reloading. I mean, so. yeah, I was gonna say nothing's changed. It shouldn't be weird. Owner, yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah, let's see if reloading fixes it. All right, so sorry. So, the rock is able to save himself from the draining effects of this white. And with that, Hekka, you, before your turn even starts, you let out a disgusting wretch. And you are no longer sickened. Awesome. Um... Uh still have that nail from the hell crown in me so i will use that as a telekinetic projectile at seraphina all right i'll allow it it's gonna take roll against the target so yeah let me let me roll this for you oh you rolled it good yeah I didn't know if it gave you the button. Uh, I'll use yours. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, Serafina is hit by this foul nail from the Hell Crown that is, it has solidified in the witch's skin. And it connects for nine damage. Another ghastly shriek emanates from the foul beast or creature uh what else will you do uh with my third action i will raise a shield all right so i don't yeah i don't think there's anything necessarily to do just let's remember if you yep, get attacked one circumstance until the, my next turn yeah oh i do have it look Boom. Excellent. All right, so Neji, are you back? Is it did that work? I'm here. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, so I'll just use um, Inspire Courage without um, lingering composition. Okay. I think that isn't it. Thirty feet. I this should hit everybody. Should hit everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then. I'm going to cast Invisibility on Drez. Oh, no shot. You have Invisibility. You're just using that? <laughs> What's it? Uh, let's see. Cloak and illusion your target because Invisibility makes it under If the target uses us, uh, oh. and there's no check, right? He just becomes invisible, yeah? Yep. 
Alright, so yeah, you are undetected then. Nice, thank you. And that's it for my turn. Or my, yeah. Alright, so with that, Serafina finally takes revenge. She's she's daunted. She doesn't know which target to go after. Um, but there's only one that's within her grasp here. So she turns to Tharok. And she bites down with her vicious claws. Claws bite? Yeah, man. The bite of the claw. Bites your flesh. It's like steel bites. So the dwarf takes eight damage. And the white gains three hit points temporarily. Hey, Wes, so I'll put in Spark Courage on yourself. Roll a Fortitude check. Where do I put the Spark Courage I was looking for? Right click on your character and then uh, click the music note. Alright, this time the dwarf does not save himself from the effects of being drained. So, drained means he's gonna, you will take a status penalty equal to that drain value on any constitution based checks like fortitude saves. You are also uh, going to lose hit points equal to your level times the drain value. So that's gonna be four. And your maximum hit points are gonna be reduced by that same amount just for this battle. Uh, oh no, or until you rest, excuse me. You can't hear me. Yes, okay. So yeah, this actually is going to hook you up pretty good. So, let me fix this. You're going to take, uh, four damage from that. And then when you heal up, uh, you will still only be able to heal to 54 HP. Making a note of that here, because I don't think I can just edit you. Wait, am I dropping 8 or 4? Because I was at 62 max. Oh, it already did it then. Yeah, it did it. Okay. And I was should be at 30, 36 HP. Okay, yeah, it already did it for me then when I put it on you. So yes, so when you rest, you will regain those hit points, um, but not until then. Cool. So, uh, any further damage too, as you read that there, um, he could he could continue to drain you. With that. Um, or she, I should say. With that, she, uh, swings at you once more with a map penalty. Enraged by the damage she's taken so far. Unfortunately for the white... The rock was expecting this blow, and the white misses. She lets out one final shriek. Uh, and as she does so, she gains three more temporary hit points as she usurps the life of the rock, who she's made a drain connection with. Wesley. Last but not least, what will you do? Uh, I already put Hunt Prey on, so going to do a Hunted Shot. Alright, so one shot hits its mark, and the foul white suffers nine damage. Well, 
Well, I think it's, is it not a D8? Did it not add it already? Uh, I'm not sure. It but says precision plus one D8 precision. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I think it's been adding it now that we doing that hunt and prey correctly. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do yeah. that, like, check it, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, also, command animal, command animal, uh, command companion to do a flyby. And... They bring her over. And Strigan is going to... Re like, return out of range of, uh, yeah, return back to me. All right, on Serafina. Mm hmm on Serafina. So, Spriggan swoops in. Scratches the white's decayed flesh and manages to cause poor damage before flying away. With that, round two begins with you, Drez. You are undetected by both of these things. All right, still targeting Serafina, and she's still flat footed to me. Wait, yeah, man, right. Um, She's now. Yeah. I think I gained a new. I think I gained a new feat that lets me. It's called. It's called Monster Hunter. It, it lets. I think it just lets me roll a recall knowledge check on the prey. And if I crit, it says I regain a plus one circumstance bonus. Okay. All right. So, so well, you should have done that. <laughs> but yeah, you could do that. It's it's an action. So if you did that, you could just add it to your repertoire, and then is it? It's only on your hunted prey. Yeah, only on my hunted prey. I think I could use it once a day. Right, and if you crit, then you get. A plus one to your next attack roll. You and allies. Oh yeah, yeah. You need to use that next time. Noted. Yeah. Noted. Loading it. All right. So you were about to uh, you attack. You were about to attack Serafina. Zero. Right? Yeah. Sick. There we go. All right, so Drez, out of the shadows, bears down on Serafina, crushing her for 38 damage. The last final gasp of the white is triggered, and Drez suffers a strike. All right. I should have been able to use my uh, nimble dodge on that, right? Gives it a minus two, right? Yep. Is it linked against just a trigger? Let me find it here. I think it's just a trigger. Creature targets you with an attack, and you can see the attacker. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. So, he... Barely dodges out of the way at the last second. His nimble dodge serving him well. And Serafina is defeated. Should have two more actions left, right? Yes, that was just one attack. Uh, but you are now you are now observed. Yes. The hostile action. Hang on just a second. All right. 
This may completely fail, but I am going to attempt Twin Faint on this guy here. Ooh, good luck. Alright, so first one takes map minus four. And then he should, what does it say, he comes flat-footed to me on the second one? Yep, he is. Go ahead. All right. So here goes map minus eight. God nice. damn. Wow. <laughs> Those Ooh. rolls, though, holy shit. When we get my back perception to rolls have been break. shit all night, but my attack rolls have been fantastic. All right, so the rogue Drez bears down on Yorick. Crushing him with devastating blows, but the white still standing. The rock, what will you do? Oh, what any self respecting dwarf would do. Uh, I'm going to make this an exacting strike. Just in case. So, with deadly precision, the rock's battle axe rings through the crypt once more, felling the white, but not without repercussion. His final spite causes his claws once more to seek the dwarf's flesh. Dealing six damage and increasing the drain by one step. How do we get rid of the drain again, Mary? Is it? Oh wait, you, you, you got to roll a save. I'm sorry. Roll a fortitude save to see if you step up. Nice. So, perhaps out of sheer will and determination, or uh, blood alcohol content, the rock is able to resist further uh, drain by these foul creatures. And the encounter is ended. For this encounter, the party receives sixty XP. Treat yourself. Nice. Um, Dang, those guys were tough. For they were pretty tough. Were they a higher level than us, or? Uh, I, they should have been like on level with you. Cause oh, I okay. guess technically you guys should be like level three right now. Yeah, so yeah. I got, I've got you like a half, like a, probably a level, level and a half mm -hmm. ahead of where you should be. Okay. All right. I could, so I could have made them tougher, but I'm trying to get out of this fucking crib. Um, tail, <laughs> what's your health at? <laughs> 26. Out of... 58. Oh, shit. I... Head back to Alec and... Uh, well, so, with these creatures failed, uh, they are now lootable to you, or they should be. And, let me appear that there there is one open coffin here that on further examination, now that things have died down, holds a plus one or masterwork longbow and also a plus one or masterwork short bow. Uh, one, two, three, three coffins remain unopened. Uh, firstly, can Wes, can you heal up tail with what you, what you got? Smoking or, sword on York. Did you see this axe on Seraphina? I did not. Oh, damn. Oh. Getting some good shit here, guys. Getting ready for that boss fight. Extra fire damage on the smoking sword. 
Yeah, I know. That's hot. I think I would rather take the sword if nobody else takes it. <clears throat> that retribution axe, though, that uh, sounds pretty nice. I've already got a plus 14 on my strike modifier, so that's, you know. Is it a one-hander? The Retribution Axe? Oh, it's a great axe it's still. A great axe, so it should be two. I can't use any of it, so you guys divvy up however you want. <laughs> That's my treat wounds on tail. I roll the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, any, can anyone else treat wounds for tail? What well, uh, what did he get for him? Oh, he failed. Uh, two plus eight—that's ten. Would that be a fail? The... Yeah, said uh, failure by five. Yeah. No. All right, Tao. I'll uh, I'll cast a heightened heal on you. Sorry, I heightened soothe. Such an imposition. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop getting hit so much, bro. Get gooder. Damn. If somebody hadn't broken my good shield. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Neji comforts the rock with some kind then, words. He's then, healed. Uh, then when they cast another soothe, this, is, this one is a level one. Did it not go? Uh, there. Oh, I was lagging there. Is it the first one? I have no idea. Yes, it's the first it's one. The it's first the first one. It's like the first one. <laughs> it's the first one, yeah, no, it is. I'll take the longbow plus one if nobody wants it. I'll take the short bow. I can use that. So just, I would tell you, as you guys are, you know, finding things here, just make sure you're not... And I'll check, and, and it was, you know, oh, as right well. You don't need to yeah. check. You can well, you could, this. you could, well, you, but I was just saying, you could just exchange, right? You could drop. I think you can put things back into the open stuff, too. If not, you could just delete it. Otherwise, I'm going to encumber you. Okay, um, did everyone grab the rest of the weapons there? I did not. Uh, I can grab that sword, though. Let's take it. Let's, let's open these other coffins. Alright, so you will need to attempt a DC 22 athletics check. Um, it's not letting me take the sword. Yeah, it's not Who's... letting me loot the long bolt either. I, it shows it's there, I just can't take it. Uh. I can just drop it in your inventory. Please, and thank you. Ditto. There it is. <laughs> Excuse me. What's, uh, you were wanting the sword? Yeah, the smoking sword. Hey, Mary, is there is there much more to explore in this dungeon, or are we practically done? Roll a I'm perception check. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm like, I'm sure, cause I just, I just want to. I'd rather just finish this off tonight, if you guys don't mind. Uh, I would recommend uh finish looting this room and then go in and ask Alec. All right, all right. And he should be able to tell you. Well, I could. Uh, so Drez leaps over to this coffin and showing incredible skill. Uh, pushes the stone edifice off of its perch. Wait a minute. That's the wrong s stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think. No, Wait, that's that's the right stuff. This one also contains plus one longbow, plus one shortbow. Did anyone grab the Hello. retribution next? So there's two more open cough or coffins that you can open. I'll hold on to this axe just in case if no one is going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy is that shit? 
Dude, that shit's got to be too heavy, bro. Get the well, fuck out of here. Dude, bag of holding, man. Oh, hey. bag of holding. Oh, yeah, okay. I could, I, could, I could equip the axe as, you like, my offhand. You want it? Here, I'll give it to you. Branded. Is that? How do I give yeah, it to, cool. uh... How do I give it to... Who are you giving the axe to him? To Wes. I can drag it and drop it. It's got to be too heavy. No, nope, he can hold it. Yeah, he got it. No, no. All right, so can you use that? What is it? It's a martial weapon. You can use those. Yeah. All right. So yes, he these does. these other coffins are still closed. Only one of them got open right there. You could just all. There you go. That's gonna open one. So Neji, ne Neji with incredible. Just incredible strength, unseen, opens this back coffin, uncovering a strange-looking staff. Drez, meanwhile, moves over to this final coffin and opens it up, uncovering two plus one daggers. Oh. So if I use those with my rings, that make them plus two? It is indeed what would happen. Okay, that, that is a nice staff. <laughs> oh, where's the staff? The fuck? Uh, the, the one on the right, furthest yeah. to the right. You want to roll for it, Drea? Sure. Ooh. What the hell? What's with this look? Oh, wow. Shitty roll. Wow! Well, you right. really wanted it. He, Legend. He deserves that staff. It's all yours, man. Legend. Yeah. Here, I'll I'll move it for you. Got it. Oh, where'd it go? Right. Looks like no one's grabbing these this longbow and shortbow because I'm gonna take oh. it. <laughs> it went it went in your container there. Is that where you Luke were moving? Got, fucking Luke Allen. <laughs> yeah, I'll move. Lose, you lose. Let's go. Let's go kill that boss. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Look, I'm gonna hit. Oh, oh well, hold on. I don't want to do that. Let me. I I can fast track everybody, so we don't have to go back through the narrow hallway. Pick those daggers up, but they are still only showing in my inventory as plus one, and the ones that I have been using are showing as plus one striking. Yeah, I gotta fix it. Okay. I, I made that other one. That other one is plus one. That was your original one. So this one would be, while you're wearing those rings, it would be that. And the other red dagger, where'd the other one go? It's just stacks them as oh, two. Oh, it stacks them as two. I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me change the name. So you should be able. Ooh. You should be able to uh, like put one in each hand if you wanted to, or just yeah. drop, drop the plus one and hold the other ones. Yeah. And those are like free actions right now. Okay, so let me do this. Time warp. All right, you're all back here with Alec. I think. Is everybody back here? Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you want to ask him? Wait, hold on. Let me not select y'all. And grab the cameraman. I ask Alec, hey Alec, um, what's up ahead in the next room? I, I see that there's a tunnel that's built in that sto storage room. Ah, so. He tells you that that tunnel was built long ago. Unlike the crude attempt that you discovered in the northern part of the crypt where the cultists were trying to dig 
Uh, this tunnel was created with magic long ago by the Hell Knights. Um, it was essentially how they traversed back and forth to Breach Hill. Uh, he said he, did, he didn't know this vase that you guys spoke of, but that, uh, you know, he was suspicious that the uh, tracks near uh, leading to and, and from and in this room here were suspicious to him because they did not seem, you know, as old as everything. Obviously, they had disturbed the dust in the room. Um, if you guys want to move over here towards it, you can attempt a survival check to try to determine if it's safe. And, or you could search this room. It is, there are a lot of storage cabinets. Okay. Alright, so you know... Survival check again? Yes, survival check. So, Tharok, a master of tunnels, um, peers his dwarf eyes down this one, and he tells you that as far as he can see, there are there are no threats in this tunnel. Although, he tells you it is eerie, and it's not like any tunnel he's ever kind of seen before. And that, uh, you know, he can tell that what Alec just told you was was... Definitely evident that this tunnel was created with magic. Damn. Um. Can I suggest we rest for the day and then continue to the tunnel just to get rid of Teo's debuff? Uh, sure. Yeah. If you guys are cool with that, then we'll just finish it off after that. By going through the tunnel, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say that you guys, you know, have rested here for eight hours. Kind of our typical thing we do in between sessions. Um, who who all's? Yeah, I would say everybody's like under like needing ten health. So we'll just uh, call it healed up. However, this rest is not long enough to cure the rock of his drain condition. If any rest really is long enough to be cured from the sting of a white's grasp. So with that, like I say, about eight hours have passed. Um... I would say it's probably about midday, maybe just a little later in the afternoon. Yep. You guys move through the tunnel? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Everybody agree? Do we want to scout the tunnel first, or are we just going to charge into it headlong? Can we, can we even well, you, you, well, I mean, you did. He did a survival check that he passed, and Tharok told you it was safe. There's nothing in there. Is just okay, a, I missed that. I dipped out for a second. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tharok did a survival check. He checked. Okay. Yeah. So let me load this up. Give me a second. Let me, let me place you guys one moment. New map? Well, yeah, you just went through a tunnel. <laughs> You're in the tunnel getting fucked up by an owlbear. No. <laughs> man, I'm still waiting for the owlbear fight, man. I'm excited. Did you show him that picture you sent me, Mary? <laughs> the, <laughs> the five owlbears. And the... 
after the session. That's it. That's it. post game. All right. So let me fix one more thing here. Okay, so this, this map should be scaled. It's scaled a little bit big, but it should be a little better actually to see. So let me load it up for you. <clears throat> oh, let me drop the cameraman so I can see too. This token always changes back to this stupid thing. Hold on. Okay, so let me make him tiny man there. All right, so you guys have emerged from the tunnel into the basement of some type of building. Before you is a wall that you can quite obviously tell, at least from this side, is you know a fake a fake wall so what will you do now i do note that it is almost that witching hour of midnight so ooc i would tell you coming through this tunnel we have started the last chapter of this oh, book. Ooh, yeah. So, part one was the council's chosen. Part two, the ruined citadel. Part three, that you just completed the citadel below. You are now entering part four, Breach Hill's Secrets. I would say, you know, this is probably a good place to maybe call it because from here it just kind of snowballs into the meat of part four. So you don't really want to rush it. What, what say you? Sound decent yeah. enough to everybody? That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, That's good to me. All right, so GG on completing uh, part three, chapter three. Excellent. Let me fix that. Boom. Yeah, there we go. So you have found yourself, as I said, in the basement of an establishment that if you look at the map tab will reveal. But as we start next session, you will go through this secret wall and begin to explore uh, the namesake of this chapter, Breach Hill Secrets. So, GG. Good rolls, Drez. <laughs> <laughs> he was about the only one that rolled good. Yeah, seriously. <clears throat> yes, but you completed... Uh, oh, and I didn't bring him into this scene, but Alec is still with you here tagging along somewhere um so you know you completed his quest as it were he'll be look here's his little oh he's teeny tiny i gotta i gotta fix the scale on this uh on this side or on this map anyway though you completed that you got him his heirloom and you gave him uh begrudgingly the painting that got you xp so you know Rolling along. So Alex, the god now? No, he's still with you. I just okay. didn't. I didn't lay him on the. Well, I did lay him on the map, but the. I gotta fix the scale on this map. I think I started to be conscious of like what you were saying about like, what what space are we taking up here? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I was messing with it because you can go in and you know you can mess with the scale of it and get the grid, try to adjust it how you want it, and all that good stuff. And I I had a plug-in. I don't think it works anymore, but 
It's what I was using mostly. It lets you like ungrid yourself so you can just move freely. Yep. I mean, you, you still move like in, in increments, but you can just move freely. Sweet. Hey, Chessie, what'd you think of that invisibility spell? <laughs> 